everyone. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold up. Don't do it. I feared in life as a kid. First, the black love. Mm. Ah, boy, yeah. the MVP of ass whoopings. Second, heights. That's right, my God, your boy is an acrophobic, meaning a person with an extreme or irrational fear of heights. I'm talking anything above 50 feet. But I feel damn tough. I thought you tough, tough. Mm -mm. Not when it comes to elevation. See, humans are made to walk on ground. Now, I know Jesus walked on water and all, but that's why Jesus. As for your boy, I love the ground. I don't like flying, don't like high-rise buildings, and especially don't like roller coasters. Your body instinctively protected you from harm. You know the feeling? You at the crib chilling, and then mom calls you all the way from downstairs. What does she want? Get there, and this lady's like, Hand me that remote. Be what? The remote is literally right in front of her. So you're like, did this lady just call me all the way from upstairs for this bullshit? Lazy ass bum. What'd you say? Instinctively, your body freezes. Sweat starts dripping down your face cause you know you about to get the beat. Um, I said, I got it mom. That's what I thought. Fear. Now the question is, how do you get rid of fear? Some people have a fear of snakes, others spiders, some even fear the deep ocean. But it's like they say, the best way to get rid of fear is by facing it head on. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'ma take you back, back to the day I faced my fear. So it's fall back in the early 2000s. Now at the time, your boy wanted to go to Disney World. Each year, I will ask my parents for a chance to visit the Magical Kingdom. Now each year, my dad had the same answer. Boy, you got Disney money? Ain't that your responsibility? Now of course, I would never say that, but I sure was thinking it. Now in case you didn't know, Disney World costs money. Lots and lots of that bad. Like today, right? The average ticket for a family of four to Disney World for five nights including hotel, airfare, park tickets, and food will cost you $3,800. Now I don't know about you, but hey, no way. My pops is paying almost four Gs just for me to see Mickey. <laughs> you can catch the homie on Disney Channel, my guy. Now since I couldn't go to Disney World, the second choice happened to be the State Fair. The whack mart version of Disney World. Now don't get me wrong, State fairs look cool and all they got good food smaller rides but most importantly cheaper prices so i get to my mom mom the state fair is next week can we go please now moms are the best when it comes to asking for anything so my mom thought about it and decided what's the big deal the kids wouldn't go out for the weekend plus a great way to spend time as a family so onward and it's the weekend so i get to my brother's room yo lim we going to the fair my boy and I ain't trying to go to that dumbass place. Why not? That's for babies. But I want to go. Exactly. Cry babies. Now you got to understand. My brother was now a teenager. All he wanted to do was talk to shorties. Now I spent time with his little baby brother and mommy. But since he had no choice but to listen to moms, we left for the park. Onward. And we at the park. Damn. They got roller coasters. Now suddenly, my brother got excited. Mom, can we get on the ride? Now my mom was cautious when it came to roller coasters, especially state fair roller coasters. Now for the uninformed, approximately four deaths occur annually in the United States due to roller coasters. Now I know that's an insignificant number, but not to a parent. See, Disney World roller coasters, that's safe safe. But little old state fair roller coasters, mm, mm Please, mom, can we go? Now remember, I don't like heights. My mission was to get there, eat my favorite snacks, chill with my homies, and call it a night. So my brother looks dead at me, and he's like, look, it's your fault we're here in the first place. So I'm gonna get on that ride, and so are you. No, I'm not. Look, look, if you don't, we boxing. 
boys, is everything okay? Yes, mom. We're good. Look, if you don't get on, on God, I'm going to tell your friends you still pee in the bed. You wouldn't dare try me. Now, come on, my dad telling the homies that your boy's a bad weather. Oh, that's low, low. So, your boy sucked it up. Okay, Tim, you got this. Just get on the ride and get over with this. So, we both get to the line. I look up. Damn, Tim, that's hot. Tim, stop looking up. Okay. Then, it was finally our turn. We get on the ride. I strap on a safety belt, close my eyes. Dear God, please. Tim, open your eyes. No, stop acting like a baby. All right, Tim, you got this. So I gently open my eyes, and the roller coaster starts going up and up and up and up. Oh, shh. It's getting too hot. Now my body started sweating. My throat dried up. Um, let me out. What? Somebody, let me out. No, it's too late. Let me out. Tim, shh. You're scaring everyone. So I look down. And my ass felt like I was a thousand feet in the air. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Tim. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just be cool. You can do this. So just to make sure, I checked the safety. And then I noticed it. Oh, shh. The belt's not all the way tight. Damn, Tim. See, your boy was extra skinny, which was beyond the lock's limit. Okay, everyone. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold up. Don't do it. Fine. Now I'm panicking. Oh God, I'm about to die. Please God, I don't want to die. One. Ah! Oh, mommy, ah! And then I blacked out and let Jesus take the wheel. <gasps> oh! oh God! I passed out once again. Jim, Jim. Damn! Oh, it's over, kid. Oh, really? Look down. So I looked down and thank God your boy was on the ground. Oh, God. I made it. Man, you cry like a little girl. Shut up. So I got off, ran like a bitch to my mom. And for the rest of the day, my brother roasted me. Mama, you should have seen him crying like a bitch. Oh, I wasn't. Man, yes, you were crying like a little baby. Talking about mommy. Well, mama, we don't want this naked videos at night. Ow, 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 ow. No, I don't. It's lying, mama. Ow. So, moral of the story. The brave man is not who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers fear.